Well, this weekend and today, multiple organizations came together for an annual cleanup at the Pines. It's an area in Traverse City where some of those experiencing homelessness camp. The cleanup tends to bring up questions about what the city is doing to combat homelessness. Our Allie Baxter joins us now from the Up North Live Content Center for an update on the Quick Response Team. Allie. Mark, the Quick Response Team was started by city police almost two years ago. A lot of what they do is work one-on-one -on -one with those who are homeless. I talked to police social worker Jen Holm. She says their philosophy is to ask the question, what would make your life 10% better? Creating a community map, so what agencies already exist? That was Traverse City police social worker Jen Holm fresh on the job in 2022. The first to be hired to facilitate a new at the time program known as the Quick Response Team or QRT. A group of agencies working with the same people, but not talking to each other at the time about it. We have 50 partners with the QRT. Two years later, Jen and the team's several partners are in step with how each one best serves vulnerable people. Which we define as substance use, mental health, and homelessness. You may not always see the work of the team behind the scenes, but on days like this one, they come together to take care of those who tell them they feel like just a number in a broken system. That's the question I ask them. What would make your life 10% better? You know, and a lot of them will say like, well, housing. Yes, but that would make your life like 90% better. And we absolutely want to advocate for that. But in the interim, like what, what can we do right now? Jen says the involvement of so many different agencies means lots of resources and opportunities for connection. You know, Paula from ATS, they might connect with Brad from CMH. They might connect with Sarah from the Jail Diversion Program or Alana, the social worker at the jail. And if you have one person in your corner who can then introduce you to one extra person, eventually you're going to get this like bigger team that cares about you and wants you to succeed. With 202 people who are eligible for work with the QRT, 275 referrals and 150 officially signed up, how do you define a successful case? Stop right because how do you like define that understanding a non-linear journey? Because at the end of the day, success for this program is like, you know, do you have care in your corner? And that care doesn't go away even when participants might. You know, I, I didn't think you would work with me again. And we're like, no, we're, we're still here for you. You've still got this support system. There's this sigh of relief that is like visible to see on people's faces, just knowing that like, no matter what I've done or not done or accomplished or not or whatever, I'm, I'm not being measured here. Members of the QRT team will present what they do tonight at the Traverse City Commission study session. A memo to the commission says city manager Liz Vogel's proposed budget will include these recommendations. Another community police officer, a second police department social worker, and garbage cans in the North Boardman neighborhood. That meeting starts at 7 p.m. In the Content Center, Allie Baxter, back to you.